Hey there, this is Lula LV. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great one. Today's video will be a not so typical shopping vlog. I went shopping at a Longchamp distribution center, so I will show you what that was like. I was able to film a little bit within the distribution center. I then will come back here for a review of my new Longchamp Le Pliage backpack. If you're new, thank you so much for joining my channel. I would really appreciate it if you like this video to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get to the shopping vlog. I was able to film a little bit outside as well as inside the distribution center. So I'll talk you through it a little bit during the filming and then we'll come back and I'll tell you a little bit more when I unbox what I bought. I'm driving to the Longchamp distribution center now. Longchamp only has one distribution facility for North America, so all of their product for the US and Canada goes through this facility. It just happens to be in New Jersey where I live, so I'm taking a drive to check it out. At this location, there is a corporate business office and warehouse, so there's no retail store or factory outlet. What they do have at this location is an employee store called Cheryl's Closet, which I absolutely love. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, Cheryl's Closet is open to the public by appointment. It's not advertised anywhere. It's just a matter of if you know, you know. And if you happen to be in the area, you can make an appointment to stop in. Just inside the front door is a reception area and the business office. At this point, I stopped filming so I could be escorted through the warehouse facility to Cheryl's closet, which is literally just a room within the warehouse. It was really cool to get a glimpse of the fulfillment and shipping process. The warehouse area just looks like a typical warehouse facility. There's large bays filled with products and a fulfillment area where shipments are packed on conveyor belts. I wasn't given a tour of the warehouse by any means, but I did get to see part of this facility on the way to Cheryl's closet. The products that you can find here are just normal retail products from Longchamp, but they were returned to the warehouse from the retail stores because either the style or the color was discontinued or perhaps it was a limited edition piece where the collection was discontinued. So any remaining products are sent to Cheryl's closet. All of the items here have a sticker on the retail tag, and that sticker tells you what the price of the product is. On the wall, there is a chart that has the corresponding price for each sticker color, and these are the public visitor prices. There's also employee pricing, which is even less expensive, um, but I covered that up here because I don't think it's relevant to share employee prices publicly on the internet. Um, but the products are, like I said, a lot of discontinued items. They have a variety of bags from both their leather and nylon ranges. Here you can see a limited edition backpack. They also have scarves as well as occasional clothing and silks. On the bottom here, they have men's shoes. On the other side, there was an entire wall of backpacks and totes from their Le Pliage line. Finally, the last section of shelving had accessories and small leather goods, as well as women's shoes, and these were all of the items they happened to have in stock the day that I visited. Overall, my shopping experience at the Longchamp Distribution Center was really fabulous. Everybody that I spoke with there, I talked with just a few of the employees, 
but they were all super, super nice and seemed genuinely excited to have a visitor. We didn't buy a ton because honestly, I really wasn't sure what to expect. This isn't a typical store or an outlet. You just have to stop in and see what they happen to have when you're there. Um, so I will be going back soon, um, probably next month to do a little bit more shopping there. But for my first visit, I bought two small items. And because this is not an actual Longchamp store, it's not fully packaged in all of the, uh, you know, Longchamp boxes, tissue paper. It's just in a plain brown bag. The receipt was in the bottom. There's no other wrapping or tissue. I purchased this really cute red um, coin purse. This is a coin purse from their Le Pliage line. And they had a lot of these in stock, as you could see in my video. There were quite a few of these on the shelf. I did start using this, and I'll show you what fits in this little coin purse. I have a chapstick. I have two individually wrapped wipes. The wipes are a little bit of a squeeze, but they do fit. And then I have a ton of cough drops because it's October. We're getting into the winter season and I always like to have extra cough drops with me when I'm out and about. So I have about five cough drops, two wipes, and a chapstick. And this is the inside. Oh, one more cough drop. And one thing I do want to show you, when you purchase from the distribution center, there is a hole punch on the tag inside. And I would assume this is done for any Longchamp item that's purchased by an employee or is not purchased directly through a retail store. So if you do buy Longchamp items pre-loved um, from either a resale site or a consignment shop, that is one thing to look for if you are buying a pre-loved Longchamp item. This is the first item I purchased. This retails normally for $65 and I purchased it for 25. So very happy with this purchase. And the second item I purchased is this beautiful pink cosmetic case and this is full leather with a fabric lining. It is stuffed with tissue. So we'll take that out and take a look in. This is just your standard cosmetics case. There is a slip pocket on one side. Inside there is a Longchamp tag. And this is what I showed you on the last piece where there is a hole punch. So again, that is something to look for if you do buy pre-loved items. That will tell you that the piece was not purchased in a retail store and it is stamped with Longchamp on the front and it has two tabs on the side. It has your typical Longchamp zipper pull as well. So these are the two items I purchased and I almost forgot the price for this. This normally retails for $125 and I purchased it also, same as this for $25. So for these two items, the total price was $50 plus tax. This is the large Le Pliage backpack from Longchamp. I purchased this a few weeks ago from Nordstrom. I did an unboxing video, I think about two weeks ago, so if you missed it, I will link to that video and you can watch the unboxing. In that video, I showed what fits. Now that I've had a chance to use the backpack for a few weeks, I'd like to do a full review on this and compare it in terms of usability and practicality to the large tote. Let me first specify that this tote was purchased from Nordstrom and it is a Nordstrom exclusive. 
So funny enough, I wore this backpack to the Longchamp Distribution Center when I went last week. Of course, everyone noticed right away that I had a Longchamp backpack and they knew right away that this was a Nordstrom exclusive because of the size. And I actually didn't realize that when I purchased this bag. So this size of backpack is a Nordstrom exclusive size. It is different than the Longchamp Le Pliage backpack that you buy directly from the brand. So this on the Nordstrom website is the large Le Pliage backpack. It retails for $140. I will link to this on the Nordstrom site in the description box below if anyone is interested in purchasing it. I will have a product link for this. It's not an affiliate link. It's just so you can easily find the backpack as I said, this retails for $140, and this is a larger size than the regular Le Pliage backpack in height. This is 13 inches tall. The Le Pliage backpack is normally 11 inches tall, so it's about two inches shorter. In length, this is 11 inches wide. The normal Le Pliage backpack is 10 and a quarter inches wide. So it's only, it's less than an inch difference, but this is about three quarter inches longer. The real difference is in the depth of the bag. This bag is six and a quarter inches in depth, and the normal Le Pliage backpack is only four inches in depth. So the main difference is an extra two inches in depth plus an extra two inches in height. So this is slightly larger than the normal Le Pliage backpack. It's only available in two colors in this size, black, which is what I have here, as well as Storm, which is a dark gray color. And both colors come with the brown leather flap as well as brown canvas handles or straps. Compared to the regular a Longchamp Le Pliage backpack, the price is the same from Nordstrom. As I said, this retails for $140 and the Le Pliage backpack from Longchamp is also $140. So it's the same price. It really depends if you need that little bit of extra room in your bag or not. There is also a greater variety of colors available from Longchamp in the smaller size. It's currently available in seven colors. Desert, which is a beige color. Navy, turtle dove, which is a light to medium shade gray. Black, saffron, which is a, a really deep yellow color. Red and cypress which is a teal color although cypress was listed on their website as out of stock now that i've had a chance to use the backpack for a few weeks i've noticed that compared to the tote bag the backpack and the tote are pretty comparable except there's two key differences one i like more about the backpack the other i like more about the tote bag so number one what i really love about the backpack is the way that the weight is distributed the rolled handles on the tote bag are not particularly comfortable when the bag is filled up and it's heavy I've carried this bag around for hours at a time when I've had it filled up and it really weighs down on the shoulder after a while. When I'm carrying the tote, I find that I have to constantly shift it from one shoulder to the other and back again because the weight just really bothers me. However, with the backpack, I took this out last weekend to a festival. I had it carried full. I was had it on my back for a few hours and it was really comfortable because the straps are wide and flat and the weight is distributed on both shoulders. I found it to be very, very comfortable the whole day we were out. So that's one thing to keep in mind. These are large bags and if you're going to fill them up and carry them around, filled with heavy items the backpack is definitely the better choice as compared to the tote where i would prefer the tote over the backpack 
is for opening and closing. This is really a two-handed open and close. You have to first pull the flap open or just lift it even if you don't have it snapped. And then to open it, you really need two hands to zip it all the way around and open it. And I use this as a bag to carry my kids' items. I'm not going to do a full what's in my bag because I did that in the last video. So again, like I said, I have that video linked below. So click it to see a full what's in my bag, what fits in the backpack versus what fits in the tote. Spoiler, in the large size, everything fits in both. But I have a changing pad, a diaper bag. This bag has um, baby diapers and wipes in it. I have a snack bag, a few disposable masks, wipes, hand wipes, a small first aid kit, and a long wallet. So all of this fits in here, but it really, to zip it around, you need two hands. So since I use this as a bag to carry my kids' items in, I did find that slightly inconvenient when we were out running around to have to set the bag down and use two hands to open it. With the tote, because it's just a straight zip across, I, first of all, I never actually snapped this close. I would always just leave it unsnapped and the flap would just naturally hang down when I was using it. I could really easy just reach under my armpit and slide the zipper straight across and open it. And I had no problem opening this up with one hand. Also, because this is a tote bag, it's also much easier to carry this unzipped. If you have it on your shoulder, under your arm, you can carry it unzipped and really nothing is going to fall out of it. With the backpack, it's much harder to carry it unzipped. When it's on your back or behind you for security, you really do want it to be zipped up. For me, that was the main disadvantage of the backpack as compared to the tote. For all other aspects, I find these two to be very comparable. They're made out of the same material, the nylon with leather trim. So the material is the same in terms of durability and keeping the items clean. These are both very easy to clean. This tote you can see is pretty dirty right now, but what I normally do is just take a wet wipe and wipe it down. All the dirt and stains come right off. And for what fits in these two bags, everything I fit in this bag comfortably fits in the tote and vice versa. This is the large size backpack and the large size tote. If you liked my shopping vlog and if you thought the backpack review was helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about Longchamp or the backpack, please leave those in the comment section below. I always respond to every comment on my videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.